is a quick video to show you how to use the Briefton 7 Blade Spiralizer. Please take a few minutes to watch it in full, as it will help you make the most out of your spiralizer. Components The Briefton 7 Blade Spiralizer comes with a moving platform, with a vegetable holder and a turning handle, a removable blade rack, a spiralizer body. There's a release button to remove the blade rack. A suction pad at the bottom for securing the spiralizer to a countertop. And a lever to lock or unlock the suction pad. A blade storage caddy for extra blade storage. Capable of storing up to four blades. A container for catching the results and a keep fresh lid to store spiralized vegetables fresh for longer. Seven blades. There is one blade pre-installed in the blade rack, two blades stored in the self-storage compartment under the spiralizer body, plus four blades in the blade storage caddy. The seven blades are four Julienne blades to make two millimeter, three millimeter, five millimeter, and 12 millimeter noodles respectively. A flat slicer blade, to make wide veggie ribbons, shredded cabbage, capsicum onion strings, potato chips, circular shreds, curvy shreds, and more. A wavy slicer blade to make wavy crinkle chips. A true sized curly fry blade to make four millimeter thick, 5.5 millimeter wide curly fries from potatoes, sweet potatoes, etc. How to get the spiralizer ready for use. When you take the spiralizer out of the box, Please follow these steps to get it ready for use for the first time. Locate the vegetable holder and turning handle in the box. Screw the vegetable holder clockwise into the turning handle until they are firmly connected. Remove the blade storage caddy from the spiralizer's body by moving it off the track. Insert the moving platform into the track. How to use. Put the spiralizer on an even, flat, non-porous surface. Examples of good surfaces are granite, quartz, glass, etc. Place the provided plastic container or a plate or cutting mat at the end of the spiralizer to catch the spiralized vegetables. Select a blade of your choice and lock it in position. Cut both ends of the vegetable or fruit flat. Hold the spiralizer's body with one hand while flipping the suction pad's lever all the way to the left to lock it until the tip of the lever touches the counter surface. Check that the spiralizer is firmly secured to the surface. Push the veggie into the round steel spindle on one side and the vegetable holder spikes on the other side. Push on the vegetable holder to ensure the veggie is firmly secured in place. It is best to ensure the vegetable stays in the middle and not tilted heavily to any one side. Rotate the side handle to the left. Start spiralizing by turning the turning handle in a consistent clockwise motion. Use the other hand to push the side handle forward to move the vegetable closer to the blade. Ensure the vegetable remains in constant contact with the blade throughout the process. Spiral slices will come out from the other side. Turn the suction pad's lever all the way to the right to release the spiralizer from the surface. Remove the moving platform for easy cleaning. There will be a core leftover, which can either be tossed onto your dish or discarded if it contains just seeds, as with zucchinis, cucumbers, etc. The included keep fresh lid can be used to seal the catch container and keep the food fresh for longer. How to change blades. Insert your fingers into the gap at the top of the blade rack and lift the blade up to remove it. Remove the desired blade from the blade self-storage compartment or from the blade storage caddy. Push the new blade into the track on the blade rack until it is locked in place. Store away the unused blade in the blade self-storage compartment or in the blade storage caddy. How to clean. Wash immediately after use with warm water and mild detergent. The spiralizer is dishwasher safe, top rack only. Avoid washing at high temperatures as that can damage the suction pad. Hand washing is recommended to prolong the life of the product. Use a brush to clean between the blade teeth if necessary. Use baking soda to remove stubborn stains. How to store the spiralizer. There are two ways to store away the spiralizer when not in use. 
Method 1. Store it as a single unit. Locate the two hinges at the bottom of the blade storage caddy. They allow the blade caddy to lock into the track at the top of the spiralizer's body. Slide the blade caddy into the track and toward the blade rack. Make sure the two hinges end up as close to the blade rack as possible. Slide the moving platform into its track. Turn the lid upside down, then snap it into the bottom of the container until both the lid and the container are firmly attached. Place the whole spiralizer onto the catch container. The spiralizer should then be small enough to be left on a counter or in a cupboard for easy access when you need it. Method 2. Store it as individual parts in a drawer. If vertical space is an issue, you can always take the components apart and store them all in a kitchen drawer. To remove the standing blade rack from the spiralizer's body, make sure that the base is suctioned to an even surface and hold the release button in and pull up firmly on the blade rack. To remove the blade storage caddy from the spiralizer's body, simply move it off the track. All the components can then be laid flat for storage in a drawer. How to reassemble the spiralizer. If you have taken the spiralizer apart to clean the individual components, you can assemble the spiralizer again by following these steps. Install the blade rack by pushing it down and locking it into the spiralizer body. Make sure the blade rack is firmly secured in place by pushing down on the hinge until it can no longer move further. Insert the desired blade into the blade rack. Push the blade down until it locks in place. Insert the vegetable holder into the hole at the top of the handle stand. Connect the turning handle with the vegetable holder by screwing it clockwise until it firmly locks in place. To be able to use the side handle to push vegetables forward, move it into its ready position. Types of cuts. Here are just some examples of how to create many different veggie noodle patterns using your spiralizer. Use the two millimeter blade to make thin angel hair carrot noodles. Use the three millimeter blade to make thicker spaghetti-like cucumber potato noodles. Use the five millimeter blade to make fettuccine-like zucchini noodles. Use the 12 millimeter blade to make pappardelle-like noodles from sweet potatoes. Beets. Use the flat slicer blade to make onion strings, bell pepper strings, cabbage coleslaw, lettuce shreds, potato chips, etc. To make circular and curvy potato shreds, cut one or two V-shaped tracks along the side of the potato first before spiralizing it. Use the wavy slicer blade to make wavy crinkle chips. Use the curly fry blade to make thick, true-sized curly fries from potatoes, sweet potatoes, etc. I hope this video has given you some ideas on how to use the Briefton's 7 Blade Spiralizer in your kitchen. Thanks for watching and happy spiralizing!